first shot. Yes. Coach, what's the biggest issue that you've seen? When looking at film, uh, biggest issue you've seen in the fourth quarters of uh, some of these losses? You know, I think like I've been I've been saying, it's every game's a little bit different. Like you know, uh, sometimes we have a lead, sometimes we come back from a deficit. Um, the bottom line is we got to we got to get over the hump, and uh, um, we've been competing with some some really good teams. Um, you know, felt like Cleveland. We went, let one slip away. You know, a, a great, you know, great opportunity. So that's that's the big regret. But but competing with very good teams and, and having having a chance. Uh, but I said that it, like I said, there's there's different reasons every game, and we got we got to find the answer. From what you've seen, how is this? Why is this marriage with Kawhi in Toronto gone so well? And certainly, what you? He's a great player. I, I think he'll be great. Great wherever he is, he's a, he's one of the top 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 you know, tops of the top. You know, great, excellent player, and, and uh, doesn't surprise me. You know, wherever he goes, that he he he, he played great again, as long as he was healthy. Kenny, um, yesterday you mentioned that uh, you thought the players might have addressed some of the issues themselves. Do you know whether or not did, did they have any sort of meeting or anything yeah. like that to clear the Yeah, I won't say they they. Uh, uh, Spurred on by me, they did their own film session. It was a, a great idea by our staff. They suggested, hey, why don't they go you know, and, and all get on the same page? And we stepped out of the room, and uh, apparently it was quite productive. And, and you know, sometimes I think they know our principles, they know what we want to do, but sometimes it's good to to look at it, especially the end of game, you know, fourth quarter, and you know, what do we, what can we, what can we do better collectively as a group? So, a uh, little different out of the box uh, idea, um, but uh, you know, we'll see if it uh, pays dividends. And I know you said you you hadn't, as of yesterday, read uh, Jared Dudley's post game comments, but is that anything that you've revisited or that you've talked about with him at all? I talk with him personally. I. I you know, talk with him all the time, so it, you know, I have a great relationship. I like Jared because he's honest. He's been in the league a while, so um, um, I, I think everything he says to you and he, he would, you know, says to me. So uh, we we talk as long as I, I talk with our leadership group all the time to get feedback. This isn't by any means a one man show. It's not me, you know, standing up here on my my pulpit. Although I am now uh, with you guys, I am. I'm, you know, I'm all powerful. Uh, but uh, I, you know, it's feedback from him. It's feedback from that, you know our leadership group, uh, and then feedback from our staff and feedback from Sean. Like we are, I can't imagine a, an organization that's more collaborative. So um, I definitely don't have the, the all the answers. So need need feedback, and we're we're figuring it out. And just one last thing, if I could, uh, how do you think? His comments played in in the locker room. Do you think the guys take it, you know, as constructive criticism? Players like honesty. He, he brings it honest, uh, was the way it should be, and, and uh, um, you know, I'm sure he. I've seen him in huddles, get on guys, and but he's got a great to me. He's got a great demeanor about him. He's not. Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I've done this in the league. I've been in. There's no arrogance to it. There's a simple uh, message. There's a simple leadership message. Um, like I said, I haven't I haven't read anything that's not online with 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 what I'm thinking. Uh, so uh, um, you know that's that's kind of where I am on that. With the Raptors, between the Kawhi trade and the coaching change, how different they from what was already a very good team last week? You know, back to Kawhi. I think it comes back to that where he's he's uh, uh, you know. Uh, an elite two-way player, and and he's that he's in peak form and, and, and playing great. Uh, but listen, I, I don't think the Raptors get enough credit. Uh, you know, for, and I know some of you guys have wrote, written about it, but uh, just their their bench too, right? Like like those young guys, and you see a Cam how he's he's developed on a newbie. Like Fred Van Fleet doesn't get enough, <laughs> you know, mention. You know, their their kind of bench bench is, is scary. I I. I, I they obviously have you know Kyle and, and those guys and Dana Green, an excellent starting group. Their bench is a real uh, a real force in this league. Kenny, everybody in this league is talented. You know when you've got guys like Jared and D'Angelo who are talented but have that potential to really be at, at that next level. What is it about consistency that's so hard for young players besides being young? Yeah, I mean, 
I guess through 22 and 20, and and uh, you know if you just kind of cut off everybody, you know, and put everybody in the NBA in that age group, they would be at the top kind of top guys in this league for their age group. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works. So it is it's multifaceted. I think it's it's uh, uh, learning to adjust to the schedule and and the pace of games and how fast they come. Um, I think it's your off court habits. I think it's your focus. You know, game to game, being able to bring it every game uh, mentally. Uh, so, you know, it's multifaceted, and it's just your your natural maturation. Natural. Uh, I know as a coach, in three years, I've gotten a heck of a lot better. I, you know, still have a long way to go. I think they're in the same. They're kind of in the same same boat. They're they're learning the game. They're learning the rhythm, and, and every day they get a little better. We want perfect. Uh, uh, you know, but their their lack of experience, you know, shows sometimes. Okay, despite the eight game losing streak, you guys are only four back from the eight. I know, I know. Listen, I, I'm with you, Pooch. I think, uh, like, I, you know, I don't want to be Mister, you know, uh, uh, ignore eight games, but I, 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 I think uh, we played some good basketball. Uh, we've kind of had kind of a, you know, let's be honest. You know, since Karras has been out, we've struggled, and that's that's. That's on us. I, I said when he went out, I said, you know, we have to do this collectively, including myself. We have to add a little more, and 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 we have to do a little more. Each is not one guy solving this, and, and we have to add a little more to, to uh, you know, kind of kind of kind of bounce back from his absence, and you know, until he comes back. But uh, we haven't, you know, we haven't gotten that over that hump, you know, without him, and and uh, we need to do that. We need to do it collectively. Kenny, you mentioned about doing it collectively without Karras. I'm curious, now 12 games or so since he's been out, are you surprised that his absence has kind of led to this swing, in a sense, of, of what it's been these past 12 games? Listen, we're 2-10 and 10 without him. And, and you know, I, I think when he got hurt and we got to diagnosis, you, you kind of you, you felt like we were going to take a hit. And I, I thought we were going to, you know, there was a possibility we'd take a hit. Um, but then the positive side, I thought we'd, we played pretty well, with, you know. We played pretty and pretty well without him, and have been in a lot of games against a lot of good teams, you know. Uh, so that's the positive side. And now without him, we haven't been able to, been able to close out games. You know, there's there's no doubt about that. So, you know, the truth lies somewhere in between all that. That what I'm giving you, but I I think you guys understand. But um, listen, I I think we have enough in that locker room. We have enough with that coaching staff to. To, to uh, uh, fight through his absence and, and, and until he's back. I just think that. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everybody.